Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we are going to be talking just about the calculations and the equations associated with concave and convex mirrors. If you want to know why or an introduction to those topics, that will be my last video. You can click the link to watch that. But today we're just going to be going over the math. So just to remind ourselves, there's three equations we need to know. 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di, where f is the focal length, do is the object distance, and di is the image distance. Usually you solve for di, the image distance, but not always. The next equation is m, which is magnification, is equal to the height of your image divided by the height of your object, which is also equal to negative image distance over object distance. And you'll see why the negative is there later on. The last equation we have is f equals 1 half r, where r is the radius of curvature. Sometimes they give you the radius of curvature. To find the focal length, you just divide it by 2. And then the last two things we want to remember is that real images just means inverted. Virtual images simply mean upright. It's more complicated than that in reality, but for all intents and purposes today, this is all we need to know. Okay, so let's look at some problems. Okay, so here's the first one. An object is placed 40 centimeters from a concave mirror. The mirror has a focal length of 20 centimeters. What is the image distance? If the object is six centimeters tall, what is the height of the image? So first I'm gonna write down my given information. Object 40 centimeters from the mirror. That means DO is 40. I'm gonna keep all the units in centimeters. A lot of times we convert in physics, but this is one of the topics where you don't have to convert because everything's gonna be in centimeters here. So that's fine. They tell us the focal length is 20, so f equals 20. I also want to note it is positive 20 because it's a concave mirror. If that said convex, I would have had to write negative 20 for the focal length. I want to solve for di first, and then after I do that, the height of the object is 6 centimeters, and I also want to find the height of the image as well. So first we're going to use the equation 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. f is 20, so 1 over 20 equals 1 over do, which is 40, plus 1 over di. Most of the time, your teacher will let you use your calculator for these problems, so I'm going to do that while we do this. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 over 40 from both sides, and I'm going to plug this in my calculator, but I'm going to get a decimal, and that's fine. I am going to get, on the left side, 1 over 20 minus 1 over 40, 0 0.025 and that's equal to 1 over di. Now the easiest way to solve for di here is to simply raise both sides to the negative first power, invert it. That's going to give you di on the right and on the left we're going to get 0 0.025 to the negative 1 power. Now if you don't like negative 1 power what you can also do is just put 1 divided by 0 0.025 that will get you the same thing if you don't like the negative first power but I do like the negative first power, and di, my image distance, is going to be a positive 40 centimeters. So there is my image distance. The fact that it's positive means it's on the same side as the object. In other words, if I got a negative, it would be on the opposite side as the object. 40 centimeters right there. Now if I would like to find the image height, then I'm gonna use the magnification equation. You'll notice I'm not actually going to use magnification. I'm just going to say height image over height object equals negative image distance over object distance. And I have all these variables like hi divided by ho is six centimeters equals negative di is 40 and do is also 40. So if I want to solve this, I can just cross multiply 40hi equals negative 40 times 6. Divide both sides by 40, they cancel. And your image height is going to be negative 6 centimeters. So basically it's, it's 6 centimeters, but it's also inverted. That's what the negative sign there means. And it also means since it's inverted, it's going to be a real image. And I could even say that since the image height and the object height and the image distance and the object distance, all those numbers are equal to each other, it's going to be the same size. It's not larger and it's not smaller. Isn't that so cool? So that's going to do it for that first one. Let's do another one. Okay, here's the next one. An object is placed in front of a convex mirror with a radius of curvature of three meters. 
The image formed is 90 centimeters away from the mirror and upright. How far away is the object from the mirror? So the first thing I'm gonna do is write down all my knowns. This time I give us the radius of curvature, three meters, which remember, if we wanna find the focal length, that's just one half times the radius of curvature. So the focal length is gonna be three divided by two, which is 1.5 meters. Now with the image distance, they do give that to me. The image distance they say is 90, but that's centimeters, I do wanna convert this to meters, 0.90 meters. And now I wanna solve for DO. Okay, now even in this problem so far, I have made two mistakes. Amazing, how on earth did I make not one, but two mistakes? It's because you're not careful and it's because you're gonna make the same mistake on the test if you don't account for this. Remember, for the convex mirror, it means two things. Number one, F is negative. That means F is actually negative 1.5. The other thing we know is that DI is going to be virtual. And whenever you have a virtual image, it's also going to be negative. I don't think I've said this before now, but whenever you have a virtual image, DI is negative. So that means it's actually negative 0.90. Very important that we catch that, or else we're gonna get the wrong answer. So now plugging in here, I would get one over F equals one over DO plus one over DI. So since F is 1.5, well, negative 1.5, equals one over DO plus one over negative 0.9, all I need to do is add the negative 0.9 to both sides since it's already negative and I'm gonna plug that in my calculator. So I'm plugging in one divided by negative 1.5 plus one divided by 0.9. My left side's going to be 0.44 repeating. That is equal to one over DO. And then to solve, I just take both to the negative first power by hitting that button on my calculator. And I will get an object distance DO of 2.25 meters. You'll notice that's a positive answer. That's because your object should always be placed on the positive side of the mirror. If you ever get a negative answer, that's a problem. It means you need to do your math again to make sure that your image was negative or positive and your focal length was negative or positive, whatever you needed. So that's it for that one. Let's do one more. Okay, this last one's going to be the hardest. You want to design a mirror so that an object 12 centimeters away creates an image that is upright and twice as big. What kind of mirror should you use and what is the focal length? So let's see what I tell us. DO is 12 centimeters. It says I wanna be twice as big. What does that mean? Well, twice as big, that means the magnification M is just two. There's no units for magnification. So then we want to find what kind of mirror, it's either concave or convex, and we also want to know the focal length. So first we are going to find the kind of mirror that we want, because you'll notice if we want to produce an image that's upright, which really means virtual, and it's bigger, then there's only one mirror that can create virtual images that are also bigger. It is going to be the concave mirror. So I know for a fact it's gotta be the concave mirror because I want a bigger and virtual image. Only the concave mirror can do that. And if you didn't know that, well, then you should memorize this chart right here between real and virtual images and larger and smaller images for mirrors. Because if you want a real image, both of those are the concave case. And then virtual and larger is also a concave mirror. But if you want smaller and virtual, then that's going to be the convex case. It's the only one that gets convex is virtual and smaller. So since I wanted virtual and larger, that's this one, it's concave. So now let's go to the math. I say the magnification is two. You can either use the height equation, which probably won't help you, or we can use the distance equation, which we will definitely be doing. So it is negative DI over DO. So two equals negative, I don't know what DI is, but I do know that DO is 12, positive 12, because that's what we said DO was. So then we just multiply both sides by 12, 24 equals negative DI, and then you just multiply the negative over. The answer is negative 24 centimeters. 
And by the way, the reason why we should have gotten a negative answer, this is good, we wanted a negative answer, is because, as we said before, this is a virtual image, and virtual images are negative. So this is very good. Now I just plug in my equation. 1 over f equals 1 over do, which is 12, plus 1 over di, which is negative 24. I plug in the right side into my calculator. 1 over 12 plus 1 over negative 24. I'm going to get 1 over f equals 0 0.0416 six repeating and now if I want to find f I just raise both to the negative first power and my focal length f is going to be 24 centimeters and the fact that it's positive 24 confirms the fact that we did want a concave mirror like we said earlier and yeah that's the kind of mirror you would want if you want to create an image that makes it twice as larger when you put it 12 centimeters away so that's a good introduction to mirrors of course, there's still lenses, which are more confusing in my opinion, so I'll make a separate video for that. I'll see you there, and until then, take care, and bye-bye.